and um, and I suggest we begin. And I so love this. We do have the judgment, and we do have the two of cups coming together. And the judgment is the energy of reconciliation, is the energy of second chances, is the energy of, um, you know, somebody from the past coming back into your life and um, blossoming something new. And Two of Cups is the soulmate bond. And I do love the chariot, right? Cancer energy might be a cancer for some of you. And this is the energy of taking the connection to the next level because that is love. That's the Two of Cups. I mean, they've always loved you. That's energy, right? The soulmate bond, the, the bond was always there. But we might have gotten a little bit hurt in the past. We do have the three of swords. They might um, have kind of given us um, a heartbreak. Wrinkles and gray hair and that kind of energy. That's the three of swords pain, right? Just saying. So Aquarius, bottom of the deck, we do have the world, we do have the five of wands and the lovers. I simply love this and the six of pentacles. And the world, we have the endings and we have the new beginnings. Oh, the love of God, somebody wants to marry you, Aquarius. We do have the four of wands here. So this, this does look like the end of trouble. Uh, we do have the world and the five of um, wands. The world we know it's all about happy endings of some challenging times. That's the five of wands. And guess what? Or guess why? Well, because somebody wants a new leap of faith. Uh, reciprocation with the six of pentacles. Love, joy and stability. So they kind of have, they have a long list of requests, I would say. Or maybe this is you actually waiting for them with a long list of requests. Because we have love, we have reciprocation, we have trust, by the way. Might be a matter of trust between you and this person. So um, you better put it on the list or maybe, you know, they will come with a long list of, you know, I need to trust you if I don't, but anyways. And you better make me happy, that's a joy and stability. And you better be stable and make me stable also, you know. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But we do love the energy, right? It's based on love. So, um, um, yeah, Start. I love the uh, leap of faith and the starting back together. And absolutely, it's a, it was a matter of reciprocation. And, uh, and now it's kind of like, okay, we got past that. So Aquarius, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. It can be a Gemini, I don't know if I said that. So far it's the only um, zodiac sign that, that you got. Possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with. I say possible because you always, always, always have to use your better judgment, your free will and your better judgment. We do have the Six of Swords healing begins. This is the energy of peace of mind. It's also the energy of walking away. And we already have closing a chapter and walking away from trouble uh, with the Five of Wands. So some of you, you are really walking away from something. And as soon as we uh, walk away from this, that is this new um, horizon, I would say, of opportunities. Because the fold is like leaving everything behind. And whatever comes to us, it's better uh, than what we've um, left behind. So Aquarius, what's going on? Um, in the past, we do have the justice and we do have the moon, Libra and Pisces energy. Um, but this is kind of being afraid of a divorce, of a separation, kind of um, feeling extremely emotional. Um, Disconnecting with this person, absolutely with the justice, there was a final decision somewhere, somebody took, might, ha might have been you, might have been the other person. We'll see how the energies unfold, but the moon is overwhelming emotions, and in this deck the justice is about detaching. Um, might have been for some of you quite a confrontation, we do have confront and we do have detach, right? So it was a harsh moment where we had either to look at yourself in the mirror, that's exactly the moon energy, right? And seeing what's going on. And with the justice, it's also the energy of balance and the energy of fairness. So maybe you had to look at the situation from a, 
um, a different perspective than usual plus an overwhelming kind of for some of you it was a Pisces um, that you had to detach from and move away and make a decision um, and the justice and the judgment probably I'm picking up some divorce energies here uh, for some of my Aquarius there was a probably a divorce and we might have felt um, extremely emotional while this person felt quite successful about right we have them in the six of wands energy and we have them in the judgment day so when the decision came right it felt like a victory to them and probably it was one that was not quite the best for you that's um and this is when we had to find balance and we had to confront our emotions and and continue to move on that's the energy i'm picking up and um you know how it, how it feels, Aquarius? It's like cutting through the darkness in some way, right? Um, because the justice, I mean, she has a sword. And, um, you know, she um, kind of uh, um, thrives on light, right? And we have to see everything and on clarity and on decisions and on courage and on the letter of the law and that kind of energy, right? And then we have the moon. So it's like cutting through shadows and darkness in order to come up, right? To come out um, into the light. And they might have won this one. Are you kidding me? Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Nine of Cups and we have the Ace of Cups. So one had a cup of love. The other person got what they wanted, right? That's a dreams coming true. And um, probably because they kind of claimed the success of this justice and judgment kind of energy right they claim the success probably that's how they got the nine of cups and um while you had this cup in your hands for um for this person now together makes a ten of cups and ten of cups is one of the marriage cards and we also have the four of wands so i might be picking up actually the energy of um of an aquarius married with somebody and might have been an ugly divorce i don't know i'm just saying or maybe one was ready one was not one was already out the door with the judgment it's a second chance it's a new life so they were already maybe in their new life while um aquarius you might have been a little bit behind you know so what are we right now we do have the eight of wands and we have the Eight of Cups. One is about success and growth and one is about moving on. I'm kind of, a, and I'm sure you, see, you can see the cards. So that's the purpose of me putting the um, the cam on the uh, on the cards, right? But you see the Eight of uh, the Eight of Cups. The person is going in the opposite direction of success and growth. So that is a message for somebody there. And it has something to do with, you know, don't walk the other way, you know, or walk the... The, the right way right towards success can be for some of you we need to move on in order to have success and growth and that is something about um, the emotional distance um, eight of cups is about perspective is about seeing the bigger purpose the eight of cups is um, you know living in the past something that no longer serves us and and move um, and move on and I'm sensing we might have a little bit of um, trouble <clears throat> Now Aquarius, they kind of ran into trouble without you because we have them Eight of Swords, Helpless and Hopeless, and we do have them in the Hermit mode. This is Virgo energy, but they are seeking. Um, this is trying to be smart in a situation that is quite um, limiting, I would say, restrictive for them. Um, they may be in a mental prison ever since they've um, left you and trying to see the lesson in, in all this. Um, this is the energy. I, I, I do love the Hermit, honestly, and, and it's, um, you know, because it has, um, it has depth, right? It's not that, you know, okay, I'm going to ghost you and I'm going to, you know, go my separate way and, um, and we're going to go separate ways and, and I'm going to, you know, um, might have been like a middle life crisis or something, you know, where this person kind of took a moment, you know, to understand what's going on in what direction. It has an energy of seeking, right? It has the energy of wisdom. It has the energy of let me dig deep and see. It's not quite like the, um, um, the journey of the soul, but some way, somehow it has um, 
you know, a bit of that energy. Now, mutual energy is between you and this person. We do have the hangman. So probably you observe them and they observe you. This is keeping an eye on you. And we do have the temperance, which is the energy of balance and healing. It's the energy of compromise. So I'm kind of sensing that, honestly, you know how it feels. It feels like sitting on your butt, each in their corner, kind of looking at each other, you know. Well, probably not in the same house, but um, it kind of feels like this, you know. Um, you're struggling to move on them a little bit again in that confinement, uh, confined space and, and trying to figure out what to do next or seeking for a purpose and a life purpose of some sort while looking back with um, moderation, right? And balance and observing. And um, uh, the hangman is the energy of awakening, right? Is the energy of let me walk a mile in Aquarius shoes to kind of understand where they came from and why this happened and what was their perspective on this. Um, and it's the energy also of awakening and, um, and enlightenment, not necessarily by walking in your shoes. So. And you have the same energy, that's the beauty of it, right? Um, because we give it a little bit more thought. And the purpose, of course, is to find balance. That's a temperance. It can be a Sagittarius. Now, let's see, moving forward, we do have the Five of Pentacles. This is feeling alone, so we might have, you know, some food for thought. For some of you, the energy coming your way, we might fall into this uh, from time to time. You know, energies of missing somebody, missing them or feeling alone because they are not there and we do have the energy of the emperor and this is really leadership having a plan being smart um educating yourself on how to overcome this energy of depression with the five of pentacles social rejection isolation um feelings of in um inadequacy that's the word being adequate and inadequate you, you get my point right and um and taking somehow ownership and of all this that you feel and you see and you understand and um, taking the uh, the reins, right? Now, the person you are dealing with, well, guess what? They come to the table with the Nine of Cups again. I do love because at the end of the day, somebody realized after seeking a while and after being confined in their mind, right? That's the seeking and helpless and hopeless. Well, actually... They might feel quite passionately about you and with the nine of cups well, actually they are, you are what they want you know uh, they want to come back to you nine of wands nine of cups right is the energy of um of wish fulfillment and you being their desire and eight of wands is like um the energy of communication the energy of messages the cupid's arrows they might be falling in love with you again uh, well that's the energy that they bring are you kidding me? Isn't it beautiful? Aww. Uh, reminds me of, of the little kid that I put on the on the community tab, you know? Because we do have manifest. Uh, the kitten was all about missing, but this one is <laughs> about love. So we, we do love the magician, right? But it's the magician and the six of cups. One is um, remembering the good times. One is about reconciliation and coming together. It's the soulmate card. And we know we have Nine of Cups twice, Ace of Cups. So that is a lot of love in this connection, Aquarius. And I am so convinced that they scared you to death because that's the justice and the moon, right? It's, um, it's quite a scary energy there. And I'm sure you got, um, you know, but somebody thought about this person of yours. They, they gave it a deep thought, actually. And, um, you know, moving forward, it does look like a lot of love and wish fulfillment and, um, and energies of soulmates and energies of manifestation, energies of setting out an intent. This is also the law of attraction for both of you. It's a mutual energy. And uh, this is how we get this lovers and six of cups. At the end of the day, they will end up reciprocating because, you know, somebody um, realizes actually that you are the one that they've kind of always wanted right and they will come back because you are pr probably some of you, you are married to this person we do have um yeah four of wands and the ten of cups so um and we have judgment and justice so kind of an indication of a divorce there or legal situations and 
and um, through that actually you know they had to go through that to realize something um, and it's not a small thing I mean dreams coming true are you kidding me and wish fulfillment is like really a desire to have you back um, Aquarius and I do love the bottom of the deck healing begins I know we looked into it but anyways I'm just saying um, so let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what energies we need to unblock. Let's see if, if we have to let them go. If they um, show up or we take them back. So we do have unity. Well, 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 well. So it says you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So it looks like you can take them back because unity is like the four of wands, like, like the marriage card, right? So you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So we need to love them. We have harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. So. We ask for energies that we need to unblock, right? We are guided to unblock something so that we um, kind of push further this connection and harmony came, um, unity and harmony. So for some of you, we somehow need to be in harmony with something. We do have transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. I'm gonna take this because really wanted to come out. So transformation, we need to transform, Aquarius. You use the power through the power of love, right? To move through illusions and shift into, into awareness. And we do have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay? So don't deny that you're afraid. And let's have the last one and we have trust isn't it amazing we started we started by saying probably it was a trust issue there because we do have the full and now we got the trust again so you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition for some of you it's your intuition you need to trust i would say this person or this person um or it's about their trust towards you so let's have a couple of um, guardian angels and then we say goodbye. We do have the three of uh, thought. This is the three of swords actually. And um, probably somebody messed up here. And it says loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. <clears throat> um, so somebody is still hurt in this um, Aquarius. Somebody is still in pain. Yeah. So you'll see clearly with time actually that... Um, Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. And we do have be open to success. This is Cancer Energy, the chariot, right? And there is a message for you and it says, look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. And I love the combination of, um, of energies, right? Because there was hurt and now there is success. So it's like overcoming this, you know. It's like yes to harmony, unity, trust, transformation, listening to or um, moving into awareness. Um, but hey, the condition is actually to overcome this heartbreak of yours. Um, so Aquarius, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.